and welcome back to a brand new vlog. As you guys can tell, I still don't have my apron chef yet, but I did order one based on you guys' recommendations. I look like lemons today, don't I? I match the lemons. Listen, I'm doing this whole quickness here just to match you guys and give you guys a bright color. Okay, so first thing, oh, let me tell you guys what I'm doing for this vlog. I'm gonna create three really quick salad recipes for you guys that you guys have watched me eat it on my IG stories. It's so simple, it's such a healthy snack, especially during this time, because I have been eating a lot of pizza and cheeseburgers, and I'm not going there. I'm gonna start working out from tomorrow, I'm gonna start eating my salads. So the first one, I just call it a cauliflower salad. Now I know, I know technically a salad is two or more items, but I don't care, just like with everything else. So just get some cauliflower. Of course, make sure you guys wash everything, especially these days, triple, quadruple wash it. I just washed my hands like five times. Basically, you just cut them however way you like. Sometimes I won't even be like that. So like I'll cut off the end, I don't like that part. I'll just like throw it in, like see? Like I'll just open up the, what do you call these? The, whatever it's called, ESL. You know, sometimes you can just do it with your hands, so simple. And this is so easy. You guys, if you want a snack, you're a college student, you don't want to eat another slice of pizza or be unhealthy, but you want to munch on something. You know when you're studying or you're bored at work, you want to munch on something? Who else agrees with me at that? I eat more when I'm working than when I'm at home, right? Do you guys all do that? I remember also when I was a student, especially in dental school because it was so hard, I had to constantly snack on stuff and this is where I came up with these little ideas because you're, I don't know, for some reason as a student, I just needed to snack on things, but I didn't want to eat chips and unhealthy stuff all the time. Look how easy that is. Took me no time. You cut up a nice lemon. This time I said lemon instead of lime. Thank you, Nina. We are progressing on this channel. There's a C. Don't I look exactly like a lemon? <laughs> okay, so I like a lot of lemon juice, so I just squeeze a whole lemon. Oh, look at how juicy that is. I eyeball probably a tablespoon of olive oil. That simple. Mix it in. A little bit of, only my hands are going in here. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Mix it all up, and voila. That's the first salad. So nice, right? How long did that take, Nick? Two minutes and 45 seconds with an intro. There you go, and we got our intro in there too. Okay, so that's the first one. Again, you wanna eat healthy, there you go. And it's just buy a bag of cauliflowers. Now those are already pre-washed, but because of what's going on these days, I decided to wash them again. Okay, I got some of my celery. Hold on, I got some cauliflower stuff in the celery. The second salad that we're gonna do I enjoyed the salad in my elevator challenge. If you have not watched that video, please go do it. I legit spent 24 hours minus two restroom breaks in my elevator in the beach house. Okay, so I just cut the ends off because this one is just not healthy at the end, so I don't want to eat the non-healthy ends. I really just want to, you see that part? I don't like that. So I'm just gonna cut that off. And no butter knife today, you guys. We actually have a legit knife. Here we go. So the second one is I love celery, you guys, and you can decide on how you want to cut it. Sometimes I'll cut it like an inch length, you know? This time I feel like I'm gonna do much smaller like that because that's what I feel like eating. I'm gonna be snacking on this all night long. No gaining weight during this quarantine, Nina. No, no, no. Just like that. And you guys, I know I'm not a chef. I know I don't know how to cut right and any of that stuff. And I do need to get new knives once the stores open up for this house, but I'm doing the best I can. Still look like a lemon. But do you guys like this bright color? So I cut the celery. And my elevator challenge, I did it a little bit longer, like inch length, but today I felt like a little bit smaller. So I still have some juice left in this one. Let me squeeze the rest of this out. We don't want any of it to go to waste. You can do lime, you guys. You can do balsamic vinegar. You can do apple cider and olive oil. I always, my favorite is lemon and olive oil. If I can't find lemon, then I'll do like limes. Again, a little bit of olive oil, little pepper, little salt, and voila, voila. You know my line very well now, Nick. Because I have to voila. Edit it out. <laughs> oh, there you go. Every single time, he's like voila. So. Look at that, under like, in five, six minutes, we have two really healthy salads that are colorful, that are healthy, nutritious. And you know what, for a little garnish, I just put a little bit of tomato, just as a little, ooh, let's make a little rose. Do you know how to do that? No. I don't either. <laughs> but I've seen these chef, we have to learn how to make roses now that we have a cooking channel, Nick. 
we'll just do this as like a little oh oh right i can do one for the celery one too we can be artistic we're not letting these hard times get us down we're gonna get through it cute right and voila <laughs> okay next one last but not least so usually i get persian cucumbers but i could not find any um in the store so these are just basic cucumbers right i don't know what they're called my preference is just persian cucumbers because they're smaller i think they're crunchier so i prefer that but if you don't have that hey make do with what you've got in the stores these days we can't be choosy um i know what i'm gonna do for this one is i'm just gonna cut these in small little circles sometimes i'll dice them up really small and add a tomato to it today this is what i feel like so i'm just gonna do it like this and again these are just it's not substitute for food you guys but it's just little snacks when you feel like getting in the bag of chips like when i'm about to get into the bag of chips no no i'll just throw one of these together and then sometimes eat a bag of chips but i'm just saying like in general it's not you can and you know what you can even throw protein on it put two hard-boiled eggs or a grilled breast of chicken if you want to make it a meal sorry i'm not the best cutter when it comes to this but it's a good way to snack on something healthy this one's a little larger than the others i learned from a food network to try to cut everything as evenly as possible maybe that's enough right yeah let's just conserve the rest okay again same thing lemon juice these are so juicy i got it from a local mom and pop store okay little bit of olive oil again a little salt oh that was pepper <laughs> a little pepper <laughs> and voila let me do a little decorative action for this one too you know now that we're all about decorator let's see what i can turn this one into and you guys, we're not going to just use it for decoration. We're actually going to eat them. Mm, what should I do with this one? This flower is not coming out as beautiful as the others. But no, not bad, right? That's it. And here we go. Three really yummy, healthy salads. And then I haven't mixed them in yet. But just mix it in, sit there, watch a movie, watch Netflix, and feel good about yourself after eating these. You know what? I just realized I have some like really ripe avocados ready to go. And let's make a little guac. What do you think? A little fresh guac? Yummy. Yeah, Nina's version. I still don't know how to take that out right. Again, you guys, just do what feels right for you. I'm gonna do, you know what I like? I like actually a chunky guac. What about you? Oh yeah. Delish. right mm -hmm. i like more chunky i don't like it when it's really creamy i actually like to taste the chunks of avocado so again just cut it up like that i usually use a nice spoon to take it out throw it right in there really easy next one and honestly you guys i've been trying to like uh support local stores like the small little mom and pop stores because I don't want it to go out of business. And I went to this guy's little mom and pop store and look at how beautiful. I got everything from there. All fresh, all organic, all healthy. Support your local businesses at this time. It's important. We want them to keep being there. I don't know how many years he's been there, but he was a little bit worried. But I was like, no, don't worry. People like me, we're gonna come. We're gonna support you. We've got you, you know? So this one's not as ripe as that one, but that's okay. Because I don't love my avocado super ripe. Again, I do like that crunch factor. Okay, there's that. Voila, voila. I think let's use the other. This is pretty much dinner tonight, Nick. What I do with my guac is, this is just my simple recipe, and I know a lot of people are like, Ooh. Oh! <laughs> I told, oh, sorry. <laughs> His things are so juicy. Everything you get there is just so good. You know what? I'm going to go back. Sir, I am coming back for more of this juiciness. Okay, so I just like to put a couple of little tomatoes. Again, chunky. I, again, I don't like my guac smooth, and a lot of people have different versions of what they like, what they don't like. So I think that should be just enough. Yeah, so I'll just put some of this right in there. Look how great that looks. Wait, you like oh. it chunky like that chunky? Yeah, you don't like it like that? Oh. Oh, no, I'll cut it down a little bit. But like, you know, but honestly, if I'm eating it with the chips, you know what I like? I like to pick up the guac chunks with the chips. Oh, interesting. You, you know, that's how I like it. Because I like it to be almost like a salad. I know some people do like 
Like they smush it all the way down or they'll smush I it. I smush it a little, it a little bit. After all this salad making, it's okay, Nicolette. I'm like, no, now you will eat it. And then I'm gonna put one of these, um, what's it's called? Hot, hot chili peppers? Um, jalapeno. Okay, and then I'm gonna just dice up a little jalapeno for a little crunch. I'm not gonna put onion in there because I don't want it to smell like onion today, but I don't mind onion in my pico de gallo. I just don't want it in there today. Okay. So that's a little bit. I don't even know how to cut this properly. You guys, can you let me know down below how you're supposed to cut these? I just do my own thing. I take out all the seeds, right? Because we don't want... Oh my God, this is a spicy one. I can smell it. Can't you smell it? Oh my God, I can. Right? Yeah. She's spicy. She is. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, I am spicy. Ooh, look at us go. Rachel Ray, here we come. Why is coming for her career. Oh, trust me, honey. It's, there's no way I would even compete. But Rachel, why haven't you had us on your show yet? We want to come. Do you know the Pioneer Woman? Yes, I love I her. I love her. I love her too. I love her. I love everyone on the Food Network. She just seems so like comforting. When you watch her shows, I don't know. When you watch the Food Network, well, like her husband and kids are always in like the backyard doing like some sort of construction. The same Thing. They're just one of those like cute families that you're just like, oh my god, do they actually even exist? Apparently so over there. Okay. Pioneer woman, we love you too. We'd love to. Okay, I just stand back from the squeezing. Okay, so with this, I'm, I think you're supposed to put some lime juice. Yes, you got them right this time. I'm working on it, you know. Chef Nita's coming along. Wait way. until you have your floral apron as well. Oh, oh my goodness. At that point, I'm just going to be like legit Chef Nina, okay? This just looks so good. Okay, these are lemons, you guys. Ooh. Doesn't that No, look? you just said those are lemons. Oh my god, here we go again. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention and it dawned on me. A little olive oil. And honestly, I'm gonna leave it that chunky. But if we're like, let me show you on some of the sides, you probably like cut this down a little, right? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. I'm gonna keep it like this for me. So comment down below, you guys, who likes it like this, who likes it really creamy, or who likes like a mixture of this. For me, this is perfect, because when you go to grab your chips, you just grab it and get chunks of it on there. Yummy. You see what I mean? Like, it all depends on how you feel. Like, some days I like to have my cucumbers, like, more, like, chopped up. I like to have my celery. The other day in the elevator challenge, I had it, like, inch at a time. You know, mm -hmm. like, sometimes I like that even more fine. You know, it all depends. By the way, you guys, I make this snack and take it to work all the time. And when I'm like hungry, it's like in the afternoon, it's time for a snack. Instead of going next door and getting something bad, I do that. So look at this. We made cauliflower salad, celery salad, cucumber salad, guacamole, a la Chef Nina style. There you go. And all of this was very reasonably priced, really healthy snacks. You can pack it for your family members, for your kids, for yourself. If you have a desk job, once we start working again, imagine you're at a desk job, it gets tiring. So imagine if you have this and you take it out and you start snacking on that. So much healthier than chips or anything else that we would find. Okay, you guys, so thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope this helps all of you eat healthier. And I just hope you guys like my recipes. What I'm here to do is show you guys really simple, simple recipes that are healthy for you and your family. Thank you for watching this vlog. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Tell me which one is your favorite too, please. And with that said, keep cooking.